Luan Bachetti. Clap for Luan, everybody. Hi, son. Lenny Sinsist. Um, wow, there are historic words here. I have an accent, you might not understand everything I say. Uh, um, I'm a little nervous, so I was asking for cocaine. The waitress was like, that's so 80s. I know, I used to ask my mother in the 80s for cocaine too, but she's like, you're only four, wait till you're five. Do some diet coke. Anyway, I love living in New York because um, here they consider me white. <laughs> and back in uh, Norway, <laughs> they consider me black. No joke. Um, it's not easy being black in, in New York, you know. You can get shot to death on your wedding day by just trying to identify yourself. Does that ring a bell? It's fucked up. So growing up in Norway as a black man wasn't easy. <laughs> you know, I didn't get the jobs that I was applying for. It didn't help matters either that half of my Albanian cousins were in jail for dealing drugs either. <laughs> the other half had good lawyers. So when I decided to move from Norway to New York, uh, some Norwegian guy at the airport. I had to fight with him. I figured, fuck it, you know. And he's like, fucking black bastard! I'm like, fuck you, I'm moving to New York. <laughs> and then I get to New York, first black guy I see, yo, white boy. <laughs> oh, I'm black like you. I thought I would get some respect in New York, you know, treat me for who I am. So, I wish I could live up to people's expectations about me, you know? So when someone calls me a black bastard, I can rob the guy and take his money. And when somebody calls me a white boy, rob him, take his money, and get away with it. Uh, a long time ago, you know, in, uh, in the fjords of Norway where I grew up. Me and my li little brother, we were eating chicken for dinner one night and uh, we heard some noise from upstairs shower, some mo moaning. So we ran up and we were peeking through the door. There's my, mo my mom on her knees. My brother's like, what the hell is she doing? He thought they were praying because he heard my father in the back going, oh God, oh God. And then he's like, Luan, mom has smoke coming out of her ass. I'm like, no, that's just dad smoking while he's banging her. I had to tell him, he, he, you know, he didn't know what the hell was going on. So, so we went downstairs again to continue eating. Because my father, you know, whenever he says, oh God, oh God, it's only a few seconds before he's going to ask my mom, what's for dinner, Maria? So we were eating and... Um, you know, ever since that day, I get a heart on the size of Empire State Building whenever I look at chicken breast. And whenever I have sex, I can't help but think ahead and wonder what's for dessert. <laughs> my brother, on the other hand, he breaks out in hives. My mom and my dad, they think he's allergic to poultry. <laughs> yeah. I proposed to my uh, wife in Norway on a cliff. You know why? I don't like rejection. <laughs> if she threatened to say no, I threatened to jump. And if she really said no, I really jump and drag the bitch down with me. <laughs> See, the reason my wife is so skinny is that I don't fuck fat chicks. Doctor's orders. He says I could do threesomes, but I have to lift them up one at a time. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Um, a while back, I was sent to, you know, when I moved to New York, I was doing different jobs. I, my friend sent me out to buy some crickets and some dog food, uh, some crickets for his pet frog. And by the time I got home, the plastic bag 
that I had put on the floor next to the car heater had melted and all the crickets were on the floor. So rather than get a plastic bag and put them in again, I just went into the house, got the frog, and he was happy to dine out. <laughs> the other day, I bumped into an old friend of mine, and um, you know, he's one of those guys when you talk to him, he picks his nose. <laughs> Throughout the whole conversation, with his right hand. Oh man, I was like, how the hell am I gonna say goodbye to this guy? At least use your left hand, you know, be a little nice. So I figured you know, I was scratching my ass, and when I was <laughs> like, okay, take care, man, nice meeting you. <laughs> See you later. Um, he never did that again. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot. Luan Corchetti, very exotic. He's very exotic. Isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Handsome. And scary sort of way. <laughs>